Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am filming my April update for the Monochromatic Project Pan. For this project, every month there is a different color associated with the month and you choose five to ten products with a goal in mind. You use them for the month, hopefully you hit that goal, and then you roll on to the next month which has a different color associated with it. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab and it was created by Callie Fab and I'll have all the information listed down in the description box below. So, on to the update. So for March, the colors associated with March were peach and tan. And the first product I chose to use is this Neutrogena body oil. I had the grand old goal of using it 15 times and I have only used it three. It's really difficult for me to use a body oil because I feel like it's a little bit messy. I love the way my skin feels after using it, but it is a bit messy. I only made a little bit of a change if you can see that right there um so i am going to keep it in my bathroom and i am going to continue to use it um but it's not in a project right now um the next product i had was for the tart lip product and that was a double ended there's a gloss on one side and a lipstick on the other which is this shade i have it on right now it's so pretty and it did go down a little bit, my lipstick use, not a ton. My goal was to use that 10 times and I only used it six, but that's okay. I did get some usage and part of the goal of this monochromatic project pan for me is to get items out of my collection that are gimme products. So you'll see that coming up this month, um, but also to rotate in different foundations and lipsticks and stuff like that so that I can get use out of other products um, while I'm doing my other project pans. So that one um, went from 10 point, or no, 17.10 to 17.04 grams. So it did go down a little bit in weight and you saw the lipstick marking. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. The next thing that I put in this product project was the a unique peachy lip liner. And that's what it's supposed to look like. And here is the shade. I did use this. My goal was to use it five times and I did use it five times. It's fine. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the color, so I would put it on and then put something over it. But it did go from 12.2 to 11.6. So I'm, I used it and it did go down a bit. So I'm happy to have some usage. And then the last two products that I put in were for, for um, foundations. And the first one I put in was the Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Foundation. And this went from 85.16 to 84.43. I couldn't put a mark on the bottle because I really couldn't tell where it was. Um, and that one I had a goal of using three times and I did use it three times. I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. I was going to declutter it, but I decided to keep it. I feel like it really sticks to my dry patches. It is a matte, matte formula. So maybe if I put it on over a heavy duty moisturizer or with an oil or with a hydrating primer, I'm not sure. I am gonna keep it around to try to keep using it but it's one that I have a feeling in the future will be decluttered, which makes me kind of sad because I really thought I would like it. And then the final product I had in was the um, Physician's Formula CC Cream. I know the glare, sorry. But this went from up there to down there. I only had a three times usage goal of this one as well, but I ended up using it five times because I really liked it. So I will continue to use it. I think with my dry skin, I really like like BB or CC creams, tinted moisturizers. I don't really like a full coverage anyway. So I think I'm learning my lesson that I'm liking those kinds of foundations. So we'll see. So what did I roll in? Oh, and that went from 44.66 to 42.92. So what did I roll in for April? Well, I did roll in some gimme products, but I also rolled in a foundation with a usage goal. So the first thing I rolled in was this L'Oreal Age Perfect um, Radiant Serum Foundation with 50, 50 SPF in the shade Ivory 10. This is brand new. I'm excited to try it. I've heard great reviews. My goal is to use it five times and it's starting off at 41.87. Let me know if you've already, if you've tried this before and what you think, but I think with my dry skin, it'll really be nice and we're not at summer yet. So maybe summertime is when this Peach Perfect one would be better for me when I do get a little less dry. 
The next product that I put in, and I'm going to try to use that five times, which I think won't be a problem. Um, the next product I put in was this Hey Honey mask. Right now I'm up here and I want to use it all up. My goal is to finish this. I haven't been masking like I should. So I'm thinking that for a month I should be able to get through the whole thing. Right now I'm at 11.84 grams. So we'll see if I finish it up this month. Like I said, this month I did put in some gimme products. I also put in the Dermaflow flash cleanser and moisturizer the um cleanser which i've used a little bit more is um, at 13.56 grams the moisturizer is at 13.39 grams and my goal is to use both of these up which again i don't think will be a problem and then the final product i have is from hourglass this is the hourglass veil mini this is a mini primer this is the hourglass veil mineral primer um, it's oil free. It has sunscreen in it of 15 and it's a really weird little plastic wand that comes with it. But my goal is to finish it. I, I don't know that I will, but I'm going to try. So we'll see. So that's my update for this month's monochromatic project pan. I'm excited to see how I do. I chose some gimme products because they were things that I wanted to get out of my collection anyway. And considering last month I didn't make all my goals. I thought, well, I'll put in some things where I'm sure to get things out of my stash. And you know I have to dig myself out of my low buy pit of despair, which if you haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and look at my low buys and empties video. If I remember, I'll try to put it up in the cards. But um, yeah, it's pretty pathetic. I am so deep in the hole. But anyway, um, these things will help me get out. And um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.